The National Navy of Uruguay, Spanish, Armada Nacional del Uruguay is a branch of the Armed Forces of Uruguay under the direction of the Ministry of National Defense and the Commander-in-Chief of the Navy Comandante en Jefe de la Armada or Comar. History Independence Under the late Spanish Empire, Montevideo became the main naval base Real Apostadero de Marina for the South Atlantic, with authority over the Argentine coast, Fernando Po, and the Falklands. The arrival of 100 ships under Viceroy Pedro de Cevalos in 1777 was the beginning of the city's prosperity. The Uruguayan Navy, however, dates its origin from General Artigas's letter of marque on the 15th of November 1817, which authorized his forces to plunder Portuguese shipping wherever they found it. Portuguese forces from Brazil had invaded Uruguay, then known as Banda Oriental, in August 1816. Under the nominal leadership of the Pedro Campbell, the Irish Gaucho Admiral. Around 50 privateer schooners and brigs, including the Republica Oriental, the Fortuna, the Valiente, the Temerario, and the Intrepido, were able to capture more than 200 enemy vessels as far off as Madagascar, Spain, and the Antilles. Topic: Early Republic. Following independence, a navy was established under Colonel Pablo Zufrategui, a veteran of Artigas's campaigns and the 33 Easterners. As captain of ports, Capitan General de Puertos, he fought smuggling and in 1832 Zufrategui led the first sovereign engagement when the schooner Aguila chased off the pirate ship Exquisite from Uruguayan waters. Although the force remained too small to play a decisive role in the Great War, it is notable that command of the small fleet was personally assumed by Giuseppe Garibaldi, who captured Colonia del Sacramento, Isla Martín García, and Gualeguaychú. The flagship during this period was the Corvette Sarandi, named after an important battle in the War for Independence. The first specially fitted warships were the gunboats General Rivera, General Artigas, and General Suarez. The first was assembled in Uruguay by the Academy of Arts and Crafts Escuela de Arts y Oficias and commissioned in April 1884, the second was constructed in Trieste, then part of Austria-Hungary, and commissioned in December 1884, the last was the 23-year-old French gunboat Tactique, acquired in 1886. The General Rivera was the first ship of the Navy to pass the Strait of Magellan. Modern era Just prior to World War I, President Willimon devoted considerable effort and expense to modernizing the Navy, viewing it as demanded for Uruguay's sovereignty and honor. After false starts in 1817, 1863, and 1874, the Naval Academy Escuela Naval was eventually established in December 1907. New ships included the gunboat Diesiocho de Julio, constructed in the UK in 1889, the cruiser Montevideo, the ex-Italian cruiser Dagali, the transport Maldonado, constructed in Germany in 1886 and soon renamed Baron de Rio Branco for its tasks for the commission on the limits of the Marin Lagoon, the steamer Vanguardia, and the courier Oriental. The torpedo gunboat Uruguay was constructed to order in Germany and commissioned August 1910. Also in 1910, the government acquired the Sybil's Jackson shipyard, renaming it the National Dock. These advances were then sabotaged by funding cutbacks throughout the 1920s that left the Navy poorly maintained. In June 1916, the tug Instituto de Pesca N1 manned by Navy servicemen, led the second failed attempt to rescue the men of Shackleton's expedition from Elephant Island. In 1925, the Fleet Aeronautic Service Servicio de Aeronautica de la Armada was created under Captain Atilio Frigerio, the first Uruguayan pilot to obtain the brevet of military pilot Aviano, Italy, 1912. The first planes, however, did not arrive until 1930. In 1934, the first Naval Act La Organica de la Armada created the Inspectorate of the Navy and Spacion General de Marina, freeing the Navy from direct subordination to the Army. The next year, three patrol boats ordered from Cantiri Navali Reuniti in Genoa arrived. The Paysandu, Salto, and Rio Negro having served for about 30 years, were decommissioned, and then were brought back into service in the 1990s. Topic. 
World War II In December 1939, the Rio de la Plata saw the first major naval engagement of World War II when the German pocket battleship Admiral Graf Spee faced the cruisers HMS Ajax, Achilles, and Exeter and then fled into Montevideo Harbor during the Battle of the River Plate. Although Uruguay was officially neutral, her pro-British sentiment allowed the Royal Navy to carry out a highly successful disinformation campaign that ended in the German scuttling of the ship. In 1940, La Paloma's naval base, base naval de La Paloma was established. The same year, Uruguay introduced conscription and the Navy established the battalions Zapican and Honor y Patria as part of its reserve fleet. The next year, the Navy created the Naval War School Escuela de Guerra Naval to improve its officers' training. Although Uruguay did not officially join the Allies until 15 February 1945, it was involved in assisting the convoy effort. This involved the confiscation of two Italian and two occupied Danish freighters in Montevideo, which were manned by the Navy and rechristened Montevideo, Maldonado, Rocha and Colonia. The Montevideo was incidentally sunk by the Italian submarine Tazzoli in March 1942, which prompted Uruguay to seize the German freighter Tacoma. In August 1942, the Maldonado was sunk after its commander was taken prisoner by the German submarine U-510. Following this incidence, Uruguay leased a number of its boats to the U.S. Navy and received in 1944 the ASW-capable corvette Maldonado. The Fleet Aeronautics Service received six Kingfisher seaplanes from the United States of America in 1942 and established Laguna del Sas Aeronaval Base, Base Aeronaval No. 2 de Laguna del Sas in 1947. Topic: <laughs> Cold War. Following World War II, the beginning of the Cold War saw the Inter-American Treaty of Reciprocal Assistance signed in Rio de Janeiro, which provided for «hemispheric defense» and required signatory states to work to improve and coordinate their naval forces. Between 1949 and 1952, the FAS received 16 TBM Avenger torpedo bombers, 3 SNJ Texan trainers, and 12 F-6F Hellcat fighters. More, in 1952, the surface fleet received the destroyer escorts Uruguay de one and Artigas de two and, in 1953, the frigate Montevideo. In 1955, the Coast Guard received three motor launches, PS-1, PS-2, and PS-3. In May 1959, PS-2 stood out in the rescue of the crew of the Uruguayan freighter Petrina, stranded on the English bank, a sandbar off Montevideo. In 1957, the Unitas joint exercises began between the United States and the navies of Latin America. The basic training was oriented towards protection of marine lines of trade and communication, focusing on escort and ASW exercises. With the aim of improving the Navy's range and support capability, the oiler Presidente Oribe was purchased in 1962, ten years later, the second oiler Presidente Rivera, and in 1978, the Juan Antonio Lavalleja. From 1960 to 1962, naval officers on the Alferez Campora circumnavigated the globe. In 1965, three S-2A tracker ASW planes were received, in 1966, the minesweepers CTE. Pedro Campbell and Montevideo, in 1969, the tender hurricane, in 1970, the minesweepers Rio Negro and Maldonado. In 1973, the destroyer 18 de Julio replaced the Montevideo. The present Uruguayan Marine Corps Cuerpo de Fusileros Navales was established in 1972. In 1978, refit works were completed to the Rue 20 Capitan Miranda that was converted it into a training ship and sailing school. Following graduation from the Naval Academy, cadets embark on a cruise of the world that functions as a goodwill tour for Uruguay. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Current In 1981, three French-designed Vigilante-class patrol boats arrive for the Coast Guard, the 15 de Noviembre, 25 de Augusto, and Comodoro Co., but it is discovered that their upkeep is considerably more expensive than promised, and the ships are quite unsuited for conditions in the Rio de la Plata. An attempt to sell them in 1995 found no buyers, however, and so the ships have remained in active service. 
In 1988, the Navy acquired a new ship to replace its previous oilers, christened the Presidente Rivera. From 1989 to 1991, three Commandant Riviere class frigates are purchased from France. These are christened the Rue 02 General Artigas, the Rue 01 Uruguay, and the Rue 03 Montevideo. These two run into problems, particularly with upkeep, and the General Artigas is removed from service. In a decision between the two ships, the Uruguay is decommissioned and the Montevideo receives repairs and refurbishment. Following the fall of communism, a number of former East German Volksmarine ships are purchased from the new government. In 1991, the Navy receives the minesweepers Rue 31 Temerario, Rue 32 Valiente, Rue 33 Fortuna, and Rue 34 Audaz. These are named after privateers of the independence era. Also in 1991, the Otto von Guericke is purchased and converted into the Rue 26 Vanguardia. On the early hours of 5 August 2000, Valiente sank after a collision with the Panamanian freighter Skiros, while on patrol off Cabo Polonio. Eleven crewmembers died or became missing in the disaster. The Coast Guard received new ships from the United States of America, the Colonia and Rio Negro, and in 1999, nine boats of the 44 class from the same country. The buoy tender Sirius was constructed in Montevideo at the National Dock, which also refitted the Portuguese CTE. Pedro Campbell and Uruguay. At the end of 1998, the research ship Oyarvide was purchased from Germany for the purpose of studying and charting the continental shelf. It is hoped that the work will justify a redefinition of its boundaries that would approximately double Uruguay's marine exclusive economic zone to around 200,000 square kilometers. Topic organization The National Navy is composed of about 5,700 personnel organized principally into four commands, each with its distinctive color for official functions. The General Corps Cuerpo General or CG, under the administration of Fleet Command color, black, the Coastal Corps Cuerpo de Prefectura or CP, under the administration of the Coast Guard color, gray, the Corps of Mechanical and Electrical Engineers Cuerpo de Ingenieros de Máquinas y Electricidad or CIME, under the administration of the General Directorate of Naval Materiel color, blue, the Corps of Provision and Administration Cuerpo de Aprovisionamiento y Administración or CAA, under the administration of the General Directorate of Personnel color, white. In addition, there are two General Services Corps Servicios Generales or SSGG, the Auxiliary Corps Cuerpo Auxiliar or CA color, purple and the Specialists Corps Cuerpo Especialista or CE color, green and the Naval Academy Escuela Naval or ESNAL. The National Navy also includes the Uruguayan Marine Corps and the National Naval Aviation Command. The service is divided into four main sections, Fleet Command Comando de la Flota or COMFLO, Coast Guard Prefectura Nacional Naval or Prena, Materiel Directorate Dirección General de Material Naval or DIMAT, and Personnel Directorate Dirección General de Personal Naval or DIPER. The Fleet Command is in charge of most of the actual ships of the fleet, the Marines, and the Naval Aviation Bases and Aircraft. The Coast Guard administers the modest Uruguayan Merchant Marine and Naval Registry. The Naval Materiel Directorate preserves and repairs naval equipment, in addition to administering the fleet arsenal and directing hydrological and meteorological study. The Personnel Directorate is concerned with human resources and particularly the administration of the Uruguayan Naval Academy. In addition, the Fleet General Staff Estado Mayor General de la Armada or ESME assists the Admiral in his administration. It oversees naval intelligence, strategic and tactical planning, logistics, liaison, and political lobbying on the Navy's behalf. <laughs> Fleet The ship prefix for Uruguay is RU for República Oriental del Uruguay, the Oriental Republic of Uruguay. In addition to their ship name, government ships are numerically listed. This is a position and not an identification number, as ships are decommissioned and replaced, their previous numbers are reused by newer vessels. The current fleet consists of Since 1997, the Uruguayan Naval Academy has also maintained the racing sloop Bonanza, a gift from the U.S. Naval Academy at Annapolis. <laughs> Uruguayan Naval Aviation 
Uruguayan Naval Aviation Aviation Naval Uruguaya or ANU is the sub-branch of the National Navy for naval aircraft and aviation training. Naval aircraft use a new wing emblem instead of the traditional Artigas roundel like the Uruguayan Air Force for easier identification and use the Uruguayan national flag as fin flash. It was created as Aeronautic Service of the Fleet Servicio de Aeronautica de la Armada on 7 February 1925, but didn't receive its first aircraft 2 Cant 18 and 1 Cant 21 until 24 September 1930. On 12 June 1934, the naval air base, Isla Libertad, in Montevideo's bay was declared operational. In 1942, Grumman J-4F Widgeon, Vought OS-2U Kingfisher and Fairchild PT-23A trainers were received from the U.S. under Len Lease. The Naval Air Base Capitan de Corbeta Corvette Captain Carlos A. Curbelo at Laguna del Sas was declared operational on 10 September 1947. During the years 1949–1957, a large supply of North American SNJ-4, Grumman Avenger, Grumman F-6 Hellcat, Martin Mariner aircraft were delivered. The force was renamed Naval Aviation in 1951, and as Uruguayan Naval Aviation in 1955. During the middle of the 60s, most of the planes in the inventory reached the end of their operational lives and were written off. In this decade Beechcraft T-34A, Beechcraft C-45, Grumman S-2A Tracker, Bell TH-13 and Sikorsky CH-34J were incorporated. Some more T-34A, B Mentor were exchanged from the Uruguayan Air Force for SNJ spare parts. In 1979 nine North American T-28D Fennec and three C-45 were donated by the Argentinian Navy. Fennecs were used as a light attack platform until 2000. By 1980 one Bell 222 Airwolf was bought for SAR operations plus one Beach B200T for maritime surveillance. In 1982 three Turbo Mentor and three Grumman S2G Tracker were acquired. Trackers were written off in 2001. One S2G a new 854 is on reserve. Some of the CH-34Js were exchanged from high-lift helicopters for three Wessex Mk-60. Also, several Bell 47G were incorporated from the civilian market. During the 1990s a number of Westland Wessex HCMKII were also bought from the Royal Navy and Royal Air Force surplus. By 2000 last Airworthy Phoenix, three Cessna 182 and two Piper Seneca were sold to private collectors. After failed negotiations about Cat Pass 250, Falcon 20 from U.S. Coast Guard and IAI Westwind of Israel Defense Forces, two Handley Page Jetstream TMK-2 were incorporated from the Royal Navy for training and maritime patrol duties. They operated until 2010 due lack of spare parts for powerplants Turbomeca Astazu 16 C2 turboprop. They are currently on reserve. Six MBB Bo 105M were received from Germany in 2006 plus one Helibras Esquilo donated by the Brazilian government. Esquilo replaced Bell 47 as helicopter trainer. Since 2010 Uruguayan Navy is interested in the acquisition of six Lockheed S-3 Viking used from USN stocks but shortage of funds are delaying any purchase. In 2013 was incorporated another Beechcraft Super King Air. Despite lack of funding, there are some plans for near future to incorporate a heavier maritime patrol platform like Beechcraft B-350ER, C-212-400MP or some second-hand CN-235MP Persuader, B-12 Mail or CL-215, a number of surplus short S.312 Tucanos from Royal Navy or T-34C-1 Turbo Mentors from U.S. Navy stocks and at least three helicopters for carried based operations, like some Bell 212 ASW, Bell 412 EP or refurbished Westland Shish 3C King from Royal Navy surplus as a replacement of the declining Wessex fleet. By 2018 BO 105M are no longer operative. They will be replaced by 2AB 412 from Italian Coast Guard. Small command with squadron group, Grupo de Esquadrones of two squadrons and one training school. Topic. Current order of battle Naval Aviation Academy Escuela de Aviation Naval 
originally at Angel S. Adami 1944 to 1947. Since then at Captain Carlos Curbelo Naval Air Base 2 at Laguna del Sauce. Topic: See also Flag of Artigas Uruguayan Navy